Hello folks, I'm Abfielder. Welcome to this Minecraft Wonder 18 video. We're going to be taking a look at 10 client-side fabric mods for Minecraft. These are mods that aim to make the game easier to play, more fun to play, and they're all absolutely client-side. Nothing is needed on the server, and you can log into any vanilla server with them as well. Just a reminder folks that I do now have my own Discord, so if you enjoy this video, consider joining the Discord, and as a bonus, I have a completely free-to-play long-term survival world. We're not going be resetting that world but we will be updating it when new minecraft versions come out so come join the discord come join the server come have some fun on minecraft 1.18 okay folks that's enough from an intro let's jump into mod number one so the first mod we're going to be looking at in today's video is tweakaroo tweakaroo has absolutely hundreds of tweaks in fact i have an entire series on tweakaroo i'll put a link to the series in the description and a link to all the mods down below but what can you do with tweakaroo well one of the most popular tweaks with tweakaroo is free camera this gives you a spectator mode like view of the world you set up a hotkey and then where well, your player body stays there it's worth remembering because you can get attacked by mobs still and killed, has happened to me, and you can take a good look around the world. You can't open chests like you're in, uh, in spectator mode, but you can just have a good look around and you can't also load chunks up. It's just the area around where your, uh, your player is located, but it is incredibly handy if you're looking for caves and things like that. It's very, very useful. Uh, you can do things like fast block placement. So if I turn that tweak on now, and you see I'm just holding right click and nothing extra is getting put on top of these obsidian blocks, like nothing on there. And we can change the mode in which that works. There are hundreds and hundreds of tweaks to go through. We can do grid patterns. So if I turn that on, we do one every 17. Have I got enough block space here? Probably not, maybe here. So if I place one here and then we run this way, there we go, in 17 blocks, perfect gap excellent for placing things like redstone torches there are hundreds of tweaks check out the video it's a very powerful very good mod our second mod is mini hud in the top left hand corner of my screen you can see what looks like a clean f3 debug screen i've got my frames per second we can see the time of day in minecraft and the coordinates and some other information as well this is mini hud and it's completely customizable there is lots more information to choose from and you can set some hotkeys to toggle information that you sometimes want to see, but sometimes don't want to see. As well, Mini HUD has some extra features that are incredibly useful. If I hit the O key, which is the hotkey I've set, we've got this light level overlay and it's customizable. So if you're on 1.17, the light threshold can be set to 7 and 1.18 to, uh, to 1. Place the torch down here. Tells me that no mobs are going to spawn here and it's very useful when you're lighting up caves and things like that. The other thing it does is create things like these, these spheres here. This is actually a despawn sphere. So if I was creating a farm and I wanted to know what caves I needed to light up, then I could put this around my AFK spot and then it makes it much easier to know which caves you've got to light up. I've actually done a few videos on Minihood. I'll put a link to those in the description below as well. Number three, then we have the item scroller mod. Item scroller is all about inventory management. It allows us to move stuff between chests and our inventories much quicker. It allows us to craft things up much quicker. And it also includes villager trading improvements, allowing us to do all trades really quickly with single clicks of a button. I'm not going to show it you all. I've done a 10 minute long instructional video on this. I'll leave a link down below. But if I show you this now, I can transfer whatever space I've got here with a click of a button. If I want to put all this on the floor, I can do that with a single click of a button. Why would I want to do that? Well, it also has mass crafting. So if I want to turn these into gold blocks and hit G9, it'll craft them up. It'll throw them on the floor and it's actually done the whole lot. It's picked them all up perfectly. There we go. We've actually crafted everything up with a single click. That mod is item scroller. And trust me, folks, villager trading on this mod is absolutely amazing as well. Next up at number four is a mod called Advancement Info. Now, a lot of the advancements are nice and simple, but a few of them are a little bit more complex. And Advancement Info improves the screen. So we've clicked on this one here. We've been to two hot tourist destinations. Normally, you wouldn't have a clue which ones you'd been to, but this one actually tells you here, the ones in red, which ones you haven't been to, so which ones you need to complete the advancement. And we haven't got a lot here because we haven't really done a lot, but if you've got the ones where you've got to eat all the different food kinds, for example, it tells you which ones are left. It makes things a lot easier if you're advancement hunting. 
That's Advancement Info. At number five, then we have the Lightmatica mod. It's one of my personal favorites. It makes building complex farms and structures in survival so much simpler. You can just load in the schematic and then use Easy Place to place blocks in very, very simply. As well, if you're in Creative, you can just paste these structures in. If you want a tutorial on Lightmatica, I've, I've done plenty of them. I'll put a link down in the description below. And also my website, abfielder.com. It has over 100 Lightmatic files from all your favorite content creators. So don't forget to check that out. It's such a good mod, folks. Lightmatica, I consider it essential. At number six, then we have Bedrock Miner. Now, this technically hasn't been updated to 1.18. But with a config vault, it's very simple to get working. I'll put a link down to some instructions on how to do that in the description below. But with Bedrock Miner, we can simply right click on here to start it. And then once we started it, we need some things. We need a beacon with haste two. We need an efficiency five pickaxe and we need slime blocks, pistons and redstone torches. All we do once we've got those is left click and boom. Breaking Bedrock is so, so simple with this mod. That's Bedrock Miner. At number seven, we have Inventory Profiles Next. I think I've got that right, but I'll put a link down to it in the description below. Now this has auto crafting features, which I do not use. I prefer the item scroller ones. So it'd be really cool if this mod did just a lightweight version. But essentially what I use this mod for is you see this messy chest and the fact that it's just all over the place. Well, if I click this button here, it just sorts it all. It's absolutely brilliant. And you can sort it into columns. You can sort it into rows. And uh, yeah, it's just a very, very good mod for sorting chests. It's great if you've ever watched any of my survival series for me because I'm a messy, messy person. So yeah, inventory profiles next to sort your chests. Perfect. At number eight, then you've got a little bit of a bonus that actually makes this 12 mods rather than 10 mods. And that's because these mods are for performance improvements and they're very difficult to show you. These mods are lithium, sodium, and phosphor. These mods basically improve the speed at which Minecraft runs and it improves your frame rate as well. If you look in the top left-hand corner, I'm getting 200 frames per second at the moment and my, my view distance is set pretty damn high. If I hit the escape button and go to options, video settings, you'll see this is different than normal. Gives you a few extra options and a change in the performance there. But that is three mods that I highly recommend for anybody, particularly on low end computers to get. That was lithium, sodium and phosphor. At number nine then, folks, it's been on the screen the entire time and you've probably been waiting for me to get to it. It's that mini map in the top right hand corner. Now it's called a zero, now a zero. I do not know how to pronounce it. We'll look at it on the uh, on the screen in a moment so you can see how to spell it. Zero's minimap, that's how I'm gonna pronounce it. I used to use voxel maps, but that hasn't been updated for 1.18. And as far as I'm aware, no one's been able to get it working. So we need an alternative and this does the job and it's very configurable as well. Zero's minimap mod. So if I hit the escape button, we're also gonna see mod number 10 at this point, And we may have seen it briefly in the video earlier. So this mods button, this is mod number 10, it's called mod menu. And when you've got lots of uh, client side mods like I have, this makes life a lot easier because you don't have to remember a bunch of hotkeys to go and configure these mods. But if we go back to mod number nine, Zero's minimap, here we go. We can configure lots of things. I don't tend to have the minimap on. I prefer it for the waypoint settings over here. And there's just so much that you can do on here. If you don't like in the top right hand corner, you can move it around. Perfect. So that was mod number nine. And we also saw mod number 10, which was mod menu. Okay, folks, that is 10 awesome mods for Minecraft 1.18 and above. If you enjoyed the video, please consider hitting that like button. And as I said at the start button, I've got my very own Discord. And if you join it, you can join a whitelisted long-term free-to-play survival server that's absolutely great fun, really active. So come along, join the Discord, folks. Anyway, folks, that's all I have time for today. I'm Abfielder. Goodbye.